What up you guys? Y'all know what it is, man. We back at it again. It's another day, another reason why we gotta do our thing. You hear me? I ain't gonna yeah. lie. We at the mall right now. We currently in the parking lot. We finna get Rich a new iPhone. Yes, sir. He lost his iPhone in the fire, so you know we gotta replace his stuff, you know, because we care about my dog. We're gonna make sure he's straight. You hear me? And in the meanwhile, I think we should get him some headphones too, because yeah. you know he's gonna be in the hospital vibing. So if y'all know about Rich, he, he loves his headphones. He love his music. I swear he yeah. loves his music. So I'm gonna make sure, you know, he get his headphones. What we should do though, we should set up a studio session in that hospital. Already said, 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 already said it. Hey, Nick, yeah, already yeah. said it. So look, y'all comment down below. Do y'all think we should set up a studio session in the hospital? We will do that. Yeah. It's up to y'all though. It's up to y'all. Let us know. Comment down below. Let's get it. I ain't gonna lie, get my boy the 15. It's only right. My dog Rich is crazy, man. My dog Rich just bought him a phone, you know? Now we gotta come back and buy him a brand new, new phone because of the worst situation that happened, but. I mean, at least he get an upgrade. At least, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least he get an upgrade, but <laughs> it's crazy how you had to get an upgrade this way, but. Yeah. You already know we've been here, man. We appreciate everybody, though, man. Still, we appreciate everybody. We still here. We rocking in for y'all. We still gotta do this. Big shout out to Runic, too, man. We still gotta do this. Everybody. Still gotta keep going. Still gotta get y'all what y'all want, you know? J -Bo I want this for y'all. He want us to keep going. I know him. I know he want us to keep going. Rich want us to keep going. You know, prayers to the family, condolences to the family. It's like a new beginning for everything. It's like, you know, but we're here with y'all. We need y'all support as much as you feel me. Everybody else, you know, we need everybody's support. You know, we there for the family. Most importantly, the family, because Javo is a friend, you know, slash family to us, but he got a real, real family. So we mainly there for them and everything, y'all. But yeah, we here getting Rich a new phone. You know, like he said, if y'all want to see that studio vlog with him in the hospital, Make sure y'all comment so y'all can see that, you feel me? Rich still got that, hey, he still got a voice, still got all that, he still can rap. So make sure y'all tap in, man, but yeah, we ain't here finna get him a phone and all that stuff like that, iPhone 15, you know? So yeah, we turn it up, man, y'all already know the deal. We getting my man a new phone. You say you getting your man a new phone? Yeah, us and Runic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, gotta get him back right. Y'all know what it is. So yeah, we finally got that boy stuff. We finna go pop up on him now. Uh, prize him with his. So yeah, I think he gonna be happy. Nah, he gonna be real happy, bro. He been needing a phone, bro. I ain't gonna lie. With the beat? With yep. the beats, with collab. the beats, like, with the beats. Come on, beat solo. Like, yeah, he's not regular beats. Like. He gonna need to be dolo with these headphones. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie though. Oh, uh, he gonna be out the hospital soon, so it's just for right now. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we just really getting started on getting him shaking back. Mm -hmm. I got more plans though. Like we gotta. I know I'm gonna replace his chain, his grill, cause he says grill missing. His chain went missing. The Ruku, both Ruku chains went missing. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna replace all that. We just happy for him to still be here and still long live J Bo, you know? At the end of the day, we still gonna live through him. So he ain't gone, he's still here. As long as we living, that man gonna live through us. And we gonna make sure his family straight, make sure Rich straight, make sure we gotta do what we gotta do. Y'all stay tuned. Hey, we should get him some food though. Y'all think yeah, we should we get, get some more food? Yeah, no. Or some oh, restaurant food? Oh, yeah. Restaurant food? Like the food court? Popeyes. Yeah, Let's go to Popeyes, man. That's where we going right now. We finna get that boy right. Yeah. Like yesterday, he ate some nuggets. He requested that though. He ate some nuggets, so today he gonna eat some Popeyes. We gonna feed him some, uh, some good Louisiana food. Let's get it, man. Yeah, man, he gonna be straight. My boy gonna be straight. We got Kobe and Mama, Mama cooking, we got crochet cooking, we got juicy yeah. cooking. So he gonna oh, definitely a buffet. be good. We got crochet, got something coming. Hey, you we know I'm getting a piece. I'm gonna get a piece. I ain't lying, she be whipping it up, boy. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we finna see Rich. Yeah. We got Popeyes. Yeah, we got Popeyes, Popeyes for my boy. We got the iPhones, headphones. Yeah, boy, two turns. Yeah, bro, so we finna finally see that boy, man. I, I just... have to walk so hard this time, because man, he had to park in the parking garage and walk <laughs> all the way around. Alright man, yeah, it's about to get real though. Let's see my boy, man. Alright y'all, so we finally finna see my boy after yeah. a long night. He had surgery yesterday, so today he should be like shook back. Um, and in a few weeks he should be back to normal. Finna see what up though. We been up here every day. A lot of times I ain't recording. Tracks, I ain't gonna lie, man. Shout out Runic, shout out Ruku, shout out everybody for supporting, you know. For real, man. We been up here every day. Y'all might not be seeing it on camera. Everything ain't meant for camera, but the surgery stuff that's meant we're gonna show y'all you know oh god you'd but be surprised, you'd be surprised how, how many man. people that came up here bro literally man and all the love and all the support we still here i know what it is man ruku gang jvo gang for life man oh god do i got my life
<laughs> Get back. Hey, we got some food for you, bro. Popeye, hey, nigga. You got sweet spice, too. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I know you gotta get that pie. You know you like that pie pie. Hey, <laughs> That's all I Appreciate you, dog. I love you, nigga. That's for me, JP. Appreciate you, dog. Yeah. Behind the headphones, too, bro, because I know you're gonna be in here trying to vibe out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What up, man? What up, man? What up, man? What up, What up, man? What up, Rick? Bye, dog. So, yeah, y'all. iPhone 15, brand new headphones. Yeah, look at my boy Rich. So, yeah. Rich, bitch, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yo. It's your sweet. What's up, nigga? I got Apple Care. I might not eat it all. I got Apple Care, so if you break it, we're going to replace it. Oh, yeah, nigga. Man, it's on the floor. What's going on? Let's do it, man. Let's do it, man. <laughs> you just got to uh, cut it on and, uh, you know, yeah, just do what you got to do to connect your phone to it. Okay. So what, what's the update? Uh, well, they did surgery on this leg yesterday, and I think they closed everything up. You see, I don't got the. You remember I had the pipe? Yeah. So it ain't there no more. So now it, it must be feel better now, huh? Yeah. It feels a little better, way better now. Hell yeah, that's good, bro. You, you know I would have been. In. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah man, you up. look way better, bro. They just took a lot of stuff off of you. <laughs> They putting that Neil horn on my mm -hmm. yeah, Neil Spring. Yeah, that looks. Transfer her from the bed to the to this one. That's good. So now I can transfer her from that to that. Yeah, yeah I gonna them. be around here walking again oh, right. after they put the prosthetic bed on. And the iPhone. You know you done listening to the Smack Sauce. Damn. I heard Drewski hit you up. Yeah, he just cashed at me two times. Damn, bro. I don't know where. Drewski sent you two racks. That's love. That's love. Hey, Drewski a real one for that, though. Yeah. Because a lot of people that claim they rock with my dog don't really rock with them for real. And, you know, if you can't if you can't even send money, we can at least share the donation, the GoFundMe. The link is in the description. So, you know what I'm saying? If you can't show love financially, at least show it some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be trying to, you know, claim they rock with you. But we're going to see in there. And we're going to see when we get out of here. Because there's going to be a lot of people we don't mess with no more. Right, my boy right here, hey, man. Y'all already know the answer, Rick. Right there. Y'all already know what it is, man. The thing I heard all f***ing day. Popeye, we got some shit back with him. Hell yeah, new phone. We got beats. Y'all already know what it is, man. Turn my dog over some beats. Let's see his music. New phone. I'm glad I thought about that, bro. I got to get you a new grill, bro. Y'all got a 15. Oh, we're not. Oh, God. Now he's getting scat back. Keep your damn seat belts on, but it's baby glad seat I ain't in the back. On, he gonna need the baby seat in the back, bro. I don't even bro. want to explain it. He gonna need a car seat. Ah! Don't scrap me in that, <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you gonna need one, too. He gonna be right there with you. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see you in good spirits, bro. Oh, awesome. Y'all turned me up when all y'all came that night. At real. first, you was in here just... You know how it was, yeah, bro. You know, but over time, you know, it's, now you see right. it's bigger than what it was because you could have been worse in a situation. We both could have been in there burning up. Hey, son, and that's what you're saying. Like, it, it hit different if we lost two. Yeah, it's bro. sad. You and unfortunately, we already lost one. We couldn't and, lose and, it. And, like, and at first, you were screaming, why me? Why yeah, me? Nah, but the whole time, why me? You a blessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should Rich. be thanking God. Like, thank for you, sure. God, for choosing me. Because, you know, screaming, why me? is like... Yeah, you, you got a lot of supporters too. A lot of people been showing I appreciate love. all the supporters, bro. You already know Rue Crew. Yeah. H A G Wild and all that. All that. All of them. Yeah. That yeah, yeah, Mike came up here a couple <laughs> times too. This Mike came up here like two times. We ain't recorded that though. Boy, we clicked up like a mother. <laughs> this a uh, plug. I'm gonna just leave it in the box. I appreciate you once again, man. Nah, you so good. I lost my headphones in that shit. As long as you ain't lose your head. <laughs> This could have been my head. Oh, not for real. It could have been your head. God man, did. God did it, man. Ah! You know what it is, man. Just dropped out that 15. Got him some beats. You hear me? My boy got me right, bro. I appreciate you, yeah. Ronick. Nah, I'm glad you shaking back, though. Got my boy Popeye. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look. You know you like that spicy. Oh, God. You got the fries. And y'all, but he doing better, bro. Y'all already know we gonna pray for him still because he do got one more surgery, but we gonna get through it all and soon he gonna be out of here. Y'all stay tuned. Yes. Wow. On game. Uh, definitely, bro. bro. Um. This is all you need right now. Um, oh, deodorant. All right, still, you got some more. Hey, look. Uh, right, you got more. You might this too. It's the same brand. Uh -huh. That's the little midget yeah. version. 
Me and Home was just on the phone talking about you. For real. And we were talking about you yesterday too. Well, I've been in fucking Louisiana. Yeah, thugging. So came back. Yeah. Y'all both came back? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just you just came mm-hmm. back. Good to see you, my nigga, man. You look good, man. Oh yeah, real stuff though. We did ask the vlog if they wanted us to have a studio session in Yeah. Hey, the mic right by him, that shit ain't tough. I'm to myself. You know, I, I said it, bro. I said my nigga. I could come up with something. Y'all could, y'all could both come up. All come up with something. Come on, man. Come on, son. Yeah. Shoot it with that and send Homer send it to the edit. Oh my god, that shit is legendary. And he just, uh, Homer just called me and told me that he edited the video. Yeah, it's done. Here you go, Rich. You got a sprite too. You gonna drop it? Yeah, I'm gonna drop it on your channel. Okay. You ate today, nigga? Uh, yeah, I've been trying to eat. You know, y'all been giving me that sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. You want some sauce? Yeah, like juice. Hey, we shooting a music video here too. You know, the one you wanted to shoot too. On the back. Y'all gonna see, bro. It's gonna. Come out on his channel. Uh, watch out for a vlog coming soon. He gonna let y'all know more details on a lot of stuff on his channel. So that's probably gonna drop tomorrow. It's probably gonna drop before this drop. But y'all go on his channel and you know check it out. Wildin Rich. Y L N Rich. Yup. Hey, you want some ranch or barbecue sauce or hot sauce or something? Yeah. Here, like here. not even on no Hollywood. Like, like real you shit. know, nigga still he feel that shit his heart, bro. Yeah. Feel that shit. You know how you going viral on TikTok? Bro, sorry. Yeah. Man, man. What the fuck? Hey, you know how to give me a little pizza, bro. Hey, dude say he wanted some pizza. I ain't know. I ain't know. What up, y'all? We up in there. What up, Rick? What up, Rick? What up, Rick? Hey, Rich, I'm good. I'm 50 flow. Eating hibachi. I'm good. Man. Hey, y'all. There's a zoo out there. Let me see these. Shout out to J.P. J.P. Juice. And look, Drewski just sent them two bands. Swar. Hey, you better go straight to Sasquatch Avenue by some Valencia. Hey, look, look, look. Hey, that's a real nigga. One item. All the condoners and everything you got, bro, just save it till you get out. It's going to help you in a long way. Way better than if you had no money getting out. You know what I mean? Take it up taller than the mini Jeep. You're going to be sun, son. Hey, you know what I mean? 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 Hey, you know what I mean
come with us? Yeah, you probably gonna be in a wheelchair for like a few months, but after that, you gonna be walking around with the uh, prosthetic. I always say like, I know Rich for real. You gonna finesse away, man. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, hey, come on, nigga. You gonna know how your body is to finesse. Yeah. yeah. You know. I'm just damn near knowing how right now. I ain't gonna lie. Right, right. Damn near right now, bro. They like it. They saw me move. They like, oh, you're strong. What do you think? Yeah, oh, bro. Yeah. They already trying to get him up out of here. You remember earlier? Well, he got, well, they he said, got uh, nurses going. He got nurses putting him in his thing. I swear to God. they been doing? Nurse came in at 8 a.m. I swear, you're juicy. You're from juicy. Oh, they rich. Hey, that light skin lady said that. You been in love, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't Tell them to come home with you. Run. Oh, oh, no, no, we need, we no need their care. We need oh, yeah, their official yeah, care. No, no more. I did ask him. You can come home with us. He said yes, yeah, so I said that's good. You call uh, any of the nurses in here? Come home. I'm gonna call Drewski. Told them to help me. <laughs> that man ain't funny. But yeah, we had three nurses in here come today talking about I was off of TikTok and shit. Yeah, and we had one say it. See how big it was, bro? You see how big it was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, he just woke me up. Going yeah. See rich? I'm saying, hell yeah. This is all we did. We got up and said, let's go get rich right. I've been woke, you know. Mama, I'd be like, got it out, waited on. When we said, hey, we finna go get that out. I said, back. We waited to rich, wait. Well, he woke up, we woke him up, and we here. I'm gonna get somebody to I love it. When I walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. So, <laughs> our patients that have family, friends, that have a lot of support, they do the best. Right. They're successful. I'd say 90 to 95% of it is right here. It's mental. Yeah. I mean, I've seen elderly people, 85, that are killing it with a prosthetic and a 21 year old that's not because right. of the mental yeah. state right. they're in yeah. and the yeah. support they right. have. Um, so that's awesome. You're going to wear that for one to two weeks and then we're going to bring you back in and cast you. And that's when they're going to take a plaster cast of your limb. And that's what we use to make the socket out of. So the socket, you know, we'll use the, we'll get the cast of your limb and we'll make the socket out of it, which is this hard part that your limb goes in. And so this is the socket part mm. and you can design that, you know, we can design that for you, whatever you want on there. Um, and so the next, the, the, yeah, yeah, anything that can go on a material, we can laminate onto your leg. Or you yep. can have some. So. <laughs> Like I'm, I always wanted a tattoo, but I'm too big of a baby. Like I'm too scared of the pain. Yeah, yeah. So this is like the closest thing. Just trying to get like skull. Hey, that's that's gonna work. That's gonna work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the plain one does. I mean, the plain. If you don't put anything, it'll be a black carbon fiber, and it looks. It's really nice and sleek. But you know, some people put sports teams or sayings or whatever. Um, there's a place downtown called High Fashion that has great material. Like anything you could think of. So that's you could go there and try to find. Um, so you'll do the we'll do the casting, and that's how we make the socket. Your third appointment will be a test fit. So that appointment's kind of emotional because it's going to be the first time you've walked since your accident. Um, and so we'll stand you in the parallel bars and you'll hold on to those and take some steps and you'll tell us how the prosthetic fits. You know, you might put it on and say, oh, it's kind of pinching me here or hurting me. We'll make all the adjustments or any changes at that appointment. And depending on how it is, you might have to do a second test fit or we might just get it right then. And then the next, the fourth and final appointment will be delivery. And that's when you leave and go home with the prosthetic. Okay, so that's Test fit's real exciting because, yeah, I mean, you're trying it out for the first time. I mean, I have a lot of legs. I mean, a lot of it's because I work for the company, and so mm -hmm. vendors will give you yeah, feet so to wear and stuff. But, um, but you'll need more. Like, any anytime you, yeah, anytime your body changes. Here they switch. Yeah. Yeah. They all do the lift. This is true. Yeah. One day he want to be tall. It's like, what? One day he want to be tall. What? Skinny, long. Oh, my God. You don't have to be my coworker, Derek. He's missing both his legs. And so when I saw him, I was like, when did, when did you become 6'2"? Like, <laughs> <laughs> this whole, this whole, like, raised myself up four or five inches. I was like, what is going on? So, yeah, I mean, he's been seeing taller than Richmond to be six seven. <laughs> Richmond to be six five, six six. He was like, hey, what? Yeah, I mean, mentally, it's like, I felt like, I mean, I remember afterwards, you know, I've been in the same relationship. We're engaged now, but for 16 years. And I was just like, you can go. Like, yeah, I, I'm a freak. I, about all the girls I, talk to. Yep. I know y'all ain't gonna wanna mess with me, no, just right. go. The first thing go. I said, I, I, I felt like a freak. I was like, my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my leg gone. I mean, y'all are young, and you know, I'm gonna give you some information, but I, I mean, I know, you know. It's like, what am I gonna do when I have sex? Like, what is, how is this gonna happen? Like, you know, do I take my leg off? I, told, okay. I, asked, hey, I mean, hey, when I asked him that for kids, look, he still got him. Hey, that me, that torque, hey, that torque, no, hey, that torque, like, hello. <laughs> hey, they stopping the motion. Hey, they stopping the motion, brother. <laughs>
Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a question. Yeah, I ran a support group for five years, and so I know it's a question with da with dating, with all those things. Like people are like, do I post it on my, you know, do I post a picture of me on my social media? So there's a there's a, a group of people that are obsessed with amputees. Are you familiar? I mean, you're probably not. Yeah. You probably don't know any of these, do you? Yeah. Okay. So they're called devotees, and so they like either want to be an amputee, and they'll, they'll we've had patients like hurt themselves to become an amputee. Um, and it's an, it's like a mental illness, and so or they're obsessed with amputees. Like they just want to, it's like a fetish. Like they want to date an amputee. And so, um, it's so people like the younger people are, of our patients, they're like, do I post on my social media? Because I don't want to lie to somebody. I don't want there to be a surprise on the day. I'm missing my leg. But then you, then you also don't want to attract, you know, the people that are, you know, just obsessed with amputees. But um, it's a question. And I think that we're our own worst enemies. You know, like when I told my my boyfriend that he was like, "Shut up! Like, are you kidding? Like, I'm not going anywhere. Like, what you see isn't really what anybody else sees. Like, I can't tell you how many people are like, I didn't realize you were missing your leg or whatever. You know, just like when I walked in here, like, I didn't even out. notice. I mean, Seriously, when you walked in, I was just I didn't even look care to look down yeah. or nothing like that. Well, and that's just it. Yeah, you're looking at people's exactly. faces. Well, we're trying yeah. to tell you though, like, you can walk around, and that's because her leg pants up. If she had a even when I have on. Norm, exactly. So, you know, everybody's different. So I, I don't like to compare. Yeah. But, you know, we have patients that put it on, like my coworker, and he just took off. I was so jealous. You know, he just never, I don't even think he ever did therapy. I'm not sure that he did. With the second amputation, he did, but not with the first one. Um, so when I I went to therapy and I started using a walker at first. So I did use an assisted device for about a month and then I graduated to a cane for about a few weeks. And then my therapist took my cane away and I was I was like, no, I was devastated. I wasn't ready. He said I was ready and he obviously knew more than I did. And so then, you know, I start walking with nothing. But it, the more you walk, the better you get, like with anything, you know. I definitely walk better today than I did, you know, three years ago or four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just lots of practice and um, you have to learn to walk again so it's something you actually have to think about again like okay I have to go heel to toe you know I want to swing my arms you know because your instinct is going to be to do this yeah you know you, you're not sure if it's going to catch you but you know so they'll teach you it's called gait training okay. therapy will teach you how to walk again and walk correctly you um you be running with it and all that I mean I only run when being chased no for real <laughs> Right. I know. I've been seeing some thing. people like really running on the road. Right, I didn't run with two legs. Mm -mm. Oh, but I did do a 5K it. for a Sunday. I walk, I walk it, and last night I walked two miles. And yeah. the night before, uh, yeah, the day before yesterday I walked one, and yeah. then I did the 5K. So, so I walk a lot, and I walk for exercise, you yeah. know, like a face. I mean, I can run, but I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll take it off to shower, all those things. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, no, so after that little schedule, after that, you're done with that, you'll be able to leave it on all day or no, you, you're going to forever have to? No, no, I mean, I leave mine on all day, like 5.30 to 11 o'clock at night. Um, if I take it off, it's because I'm watching a show, but there's some days that, like, I have events after work. I mean, I have it on all day, and then I take it off at night. I just went to Disney. I went to Disney in January. So our longest day was Epcot. It was 22,000 steps. Um, so I think that was, like, 10 miles, and it was all day i mean no uh, no no so what you what i did do is i had to manage my socks so underneath here like the more you walk with it you'll sweat more so you'll lose some volume so you might have to add some socks in there and i've done i did that like i added a sock here and there but no I, I will tell you this, when I lost my leg, I was like, oh, I want a prosthetic that looks like my other leg so nobody knows. And the more, the longer I was an amputee, by the time it came to get my prosthetic, I was like, I don't want that. Like, this, I'm badass. Like, I want a leg everybody can see. I always wear shorts. I always design my different sockets and bling it out or, you know, have different things on them. Um, and so, I don't know. Like, some of our patients are like, oh, I, people stare at me all the time. 
you know, and I'm like, oh, well, they stare at me too, but I thought they were staring at me because I'm so badass. Because <laughs> they're like, look at her walk. Or they, like, that's what I thought they were staring at, and I'm just going to continue to think that. But some patients don't like to show their leg. I do, because um, I want other people to know that, like, I want to normalize it. Battle scars. Right. I mean, and, and it doesn't define me. Like, I'm so much more than an yeah. amputee. I'm a mom. I'm a sister. I'm right. a friend. I'm a, a, a wife. You know, I'm all those things. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of how I, how, my view on it. But... You know, everybody's different. So. Yeah. Okay, so this for Rich? That boy got a skate. Say, Rich. Rich. Rich, this for you. Hi, my man. It's a skate. I know. You want to get in it? This is brand new. Brand. I'm talking about crispy as hell. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. Rich. He rich. He rich. Nitro engines in the back. Y'all see Rich in high spirits, bro. Keeping me out prayers, like I said, because we do got one more surgery for him, and um, he gonna be out of here soon. You know what I'm saying? He said he feeling a lot better. You know, we just gotta hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, long live Javo, shake back Rich, and stay tuned on game.